place where speed of hand must never deceive the eye is this establishment where future maestros of the culinary art are taught how to tempt the palate both visibly and gastronomically with mouth-watering delicacies. The name of the establishment is the Army Catering Corps Training Centre at Aldershot, Surrey, and the palate that all this food is aimed at belongs to the modern soldier. The students here, after six weeks initial military training, do an intensive 12-week course which culminates in a trade test where the pupil has to convince his examiners that he is not liable to cripple an entire unit with acute or chronic indigestion. There is a great deal of truth in the adage that an army marches on its stomach. The daily menu these days is in fact comprehensive enough to reduce any civilian gourmet to a hand-wringing bundle of nerves. What shall I have? Decisions all the time, decisions. A good soldier, however, is accustomed to rapid decisions, which is just as well, because this cafeteria self-service is gradually spreading to all army units. You are allowed to take as much food as you can comfortably hold, or if you like, you can really lash out with the ladle and take enough to satisfy a lesser man for weeks. The more advanced level at the school consists of senior NCOs who are really in the haute cuisine class. Any one of them seen here making really exotic dishes could walk straight into responsible civilian jobs on the culinary or managerial side of catering. Prior to the formation of the ACC in 1941, army cooking was done on a regimental basis and the standard often used to vary from the sublime to the ridiculous. A training officer casts an expert eye on a dish of trout. Those who endured the wartime days of soggy spam, sawdust sausages and unspeakable fritters smothered in ketchup would be the first to agree that army cooking has gone full cycle from the ridiculous to the sublime. Thank you.